Welcome to another episode of Schwilling Rags von der Vermörte Beer. Today we are looking at Augustine Maximeter, brewed and bottled by Augustine Broy in Munich, Bavaria. Greetings and salutations, loyal viewers. Thanks for joining me once again. I do hope that you're all well and that you're uh, hoarding beer rather than toilet paper. Anyhow, as the title suggests, we're looking at another Augustina beer from the fatherland. This time it's the Amaximator, which comes in at 7.5% ABV and uh, it's a Doppelbock. And uh, yeah, Doppelbocks aren't something you see too much of in Australia. So uh, when you do get your hands on one, it's quite an enjoyable experience generally. Anyway, so I've cracked off the cap and uh, I'll pour it out into this uh, Spiegelau glass. Give it a nice generous pour. Not too aggressive. Okay. Plonk the bottle down there. So uh, let's get a look at the appearance of that. Yeah. A very uh, dark amber color, caramelly, you could say. Hmm. Yeah, when I hold it up to the light, there's a very uh, reddish hue there. But uh, yeah, looks fantastic. Hmm. Yeah, a very enticing looking brew. Anyway, um, on to the uh, aroma. Hmm. Wow. Getting a lot of caramel, bread there, bit of dark fruit. Hmm. Oh yes, and I did forget to mention that uh, yeah, when I poured it, that was about uh, yeah, two fingers of um, yeah, beige head. Hmm. Sure does look good. So we've uh, talked about the appearance and the aroma, which could only mean it's time for the taste test. So uh, it's uh, my first beer of the day once again. So. Uh, yeah, this is really going to hit the spot, I hope. <laughs> so, uh, cheers to you all, folks. Mm. Wow. Well, up front, definitely a uh, massive malt hit there. Beautiful, you know, toasty, roasty malt flavours coming through. A lot of caramel, yeah, and um, there's a definite taste of dark fruit there that, um, yeah, lingers more in the palate after you uh, drink it. And the bitterness uh, is, is quite minimal, as you'd expect for, for this style. It's definitely not a hot bomb. It's uh, more of a malt bomb, if that term has ever been used. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah, I do like my malt forward brews. And with things cooling down here in Australia, these are definitely becoming more appealing these sort of beers but sadly yeah um like i said yeah you don't uh, find too many of them on the shelves here which is sad but i was fortunate enough to get my hands on this so yeah i've got to be thankful for that at least all right so uh, time for another gulp oh well look it's um Definitely holding that taste profile. Yeah, a lot of malt. Goes down smooth. Yeah, very full bodied. Yeah, it's got a, a somewhat noticeable alcohol presence as well. Not overpowering though. Uh, is it something you could session? Probably not at 7.5% ABV. It is very drinkable, however, but yeah, you probably only want to have a few of these and um, call it a night, but uh, you will, will feel quite pleasantly toasted um, after a few of these, I'm sure. But yeah, a very enjoyable, you know, bold, full, full body beer here, folks. And um, yeah, a fine example of the Doppelbock style. Uh, the price point is probably the only thing that lets it down. I think it was nearly $10 just for this one bottle, which is quite ludicrous. And the case was you know, in excess of $100. So, yeah, I wasn't going to be buying a case. <laughs> All 
All right, well, um, time to have one last gulp of this and uh, give it a score out of 10. All right. Okay, well, all in all, a very enjoyable Doppelbock. Yeah, a really flawless brew. Delicious. You know, there's nothing offensive about it flavour-wise. Um, yeah, it is one that I would definitely encourage you all to go out and uh, get your hands on if you, uh, you know, can find it somewhere, some way, somehow. Uh, yeah, it's a definite 10 out of 10 brew, there's no doubt about that. But, uh, yeah, it does come from one of the world's greatest breweries. Um, so, yeah, I <laughs> guess it's hard to go wrong there. All right, well, um, yeah, getting a bit hot in here, actually, with the lights and all that. Uh, strange, uh, actually, but, uh, yeah, probably need a bit of, uh, yeah, ventilation. <laughs> all right, but, uh, yeah, this is certainly going to cool me down. Hmm. Rightio, well, um... Yeah, thanks for joining me once again, and uh, yeah, I'm surely going to be uh, enjoying the rest of this, uh, without a doubt, and I'll see you all in the next review, which uh, hopefully isn't too far away, folks. Until then, though, fare thee well, all.